Hello, good morning. Um, we thank God for a beautiful day as this. I mean, it's been a long haul since 1st January. God has been good to us. He has preserved us, you know. He has protected us. And today is 24th. If we are alive, we want to thank God. And I am here because I have some clarifications to make. I am not clarifying anything here because I owe anybody an explanation to what I do with my personal life. But because I realized from a lot of the comments that a lot of people were um, disappointed in me. You know, but it's because they don't understand. Do you understand? People don't understand what happened, so they are allowed to get disappointed in me. And I intentionally didn't say anything about anything. I intentionally kept quiet and watched the comments because I needed to know for myself which people are really my lovers, you know. Because there's always a saying that um, anytime somebody is angry at you, usually the things they tell you are actually the things they mean to tell you. But we need to fool, no, no, kasa. I said, no, they catch you and there are things in their heads for a long time. The anger is just bringing everything out. So for me, it was a good experience. You know, and I've not had like bashing like this before my whole life, you know. So it was, it was a very good experience for me to like test myself that challenge this to uh, event then celebrity life and whatever thing. Am I ready for it? That is how come I, I didn't say anything. I tried to apologize, but then in the midst of all the up and down, all the because I intentionally sat here and read every comment, every comment everybody sent me. I read it. I know it was not good to do that, but I sat here both on Instagram and Facebook and read everything. As I said before, I do not owe anybody an apology because I have not stolen from anybody. But because from the comment people were hurt and it looks like everything was too much of a surprise for people and that's why people reacted like that. I want to clarify one thing. First thing, I never sat anywhere and said Miss Bell is my enemy. That is the first point. I have never sat anywhere and said Miss Bell is my She can never be my enemy. No matter what went on between me and her, she can never be my enemy. I, am, I wasn't trained like that. I am not the type of person that somebody will be good to um, you and maybe when you have misunderstanding, then you will say bad things about the person. I am not that kind of person. Let me tell you, those of you who are sending bad comments and whatever, whatever, saying that I've betrayed her and uh, Debbie and Debbie, I have not betrayed anybody. I am not a snitch. I have not betrayed anybody because I've never sat anywhere and said, Miss Brown is my enemy. She can never be my enemy. Because no matter how bad things were between us, there were good times. And I remember all of that. Somebody I called my mom before, then I was, Ayipo, you are funny. If I wanted to betray Miss Bell, I don't have to go to Efia Schwarzenegger to betray Miss Bell. That is the truth of the matter. If it is for hype and it is for whatever following, I don't have to. Because if I sit here and I talk, I can have up to 500 people listening to me at a time. So if I want to betray Ms. Bell, I don't need to go to a fiasco as to do my job for me. I can just sit here, come and tell you everything I know about her during the period I stayed with her. But I'm not that kind of person. I wasn't trained like that. You know, I wasn't trained like that. I wasn't trained like that. And I didn't betray Ms. Bell. I thought about it. You see this yesterday at dawn, I sent a mess I sent a, another message or I posted something apologizing to Wendy Shea. Because from the beginning when I started, I didn't have good counsel. And I thought the right thing to do in this industry. I was told that oh, when you come here, if you want to go higher, you have to step on people's toes and blah blah blah. But in this my short time of being in this industry, I realized that that is not the best option. It's a very bad practice. So if you are here, you are an artist and you are listening to me, you are now coming up. Please don't step on anybody's toes. It doesn't help you. Because when it is your turn, you will smell the pepper. That is the, that is the, the fact of the matter. Coming back to um, 
a fear of nega. I did something and it was wrong. No matter what issues Miss Bell has with a fear of nega, no matter what issues Miss Bell has with a fear of I do not have any problem with a fear of nega. She's not done anything to me. So it was wrong for me to have sat in Miss Bell's videos and made fun of Tracy Boache. Not to say that what Tracy did to Miss Bell, like she came live and said the kind of where she used for hair was right or wrong. I mean, it's all my business. I didn't know them yet. That time I was very excited. I'd met Miss Bell, I was hanging out with her, and I felt that I needed to show her my loyalty by being in that video. But uh, another time, Miss Bell said some very, she told me something. She said, that if I knew that I will manage you, Ayona, I would never have allowed you to stay in my videos. And she said the same thing to my parents, that if I knew I would manage you, I would never have allowed you to stay in my videos. So that got me thinking that, ah, so it means that being in the videos was wrong. I shouldn't have been in those videos. So I went for an event. I went for an event. And then when I went for the event, I saw a fear she was made when I saw it, my heart started beating because I was thinking what if we, we, we cross paths and she she disgraces me or something what, what will I do so instead let me go there and approach her myself so I went to approach her when I approached her the first thing she told me was that I don't know I'm a dear man I am I done something that I said to her. I didn't, you do not know me you do not know the beginning of the issue blah 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 but then you, you sat in that video and you made fun of me. You made fun of Tracy Bachelor. So when she said that, I'm like, I'm, I'm very sorry, forgive me. I'm very sorry, forgive me because I'm already on a friend name. Like, it's something I want to do. I'm trying to make peace with everybody. Everybody. I don't want to have any problems with anybody. We are entering a new year, 2020. I want to enter a new year cleared mind. I don't want to have a problem with So all I did was try and and go and fix that mess I created. So I don't think that I what I did was wrong. And I had to post that picture to prove to a fear that I am not coming to hide and come and beg her. And I don't know. You people, you believe in and somebody is fake and somebody is not fake and blah, blah, blah. I am not a fake person. Because I knew that people will not be happy with the post. But why did I post it on my page? Even knowing that people will not be happy, I posted. Because I am a real person. Knowing that I needed to prove to a fear that I didn't, I, 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 I didn't come to come and hide and come and apologize to her. I want the whole world to know that I have apologized to her and I don't have any problems with her. It doesn't mean that she's my best friend or something. I don't have any problem with Miss Bell. If she has a problem with me, fine. But I am telling you today that I do not have any problem with her. I may not be as a friend then. I may not be as close and, and, and all that like before. But it doesn't mean I have a problem to the point of you saying that she's my enemy and I mean come on. Come on. I thought that Ghana is a Christian um nation. And so most of you here are Christians. What I did was wrong. It's as simple as that. What I did was wrong. Let me read some of your comments. The lie says that I need to make up with the first person. Charlie, you don't know what goes on at the back door. So it is not it is not even wise for you to comment about things. You do not know what went on. We had a misunderstanding, I and Miss Bell. And I've I have and, and I've tried to, to, to get to her to make peace. You understand? So it's not like the fact that I didn't come and put that one on social media doesn't mean that I have a problem with her. I do not have a problem with Miss Bell. I'm telling you today, she's not my enemy. She can never be my enemy because she has helped me. And I've never sat anywhere and said she didn't help me. The last time I read some comments, somebody said, when they said I should go and apologize to Miss Bell, I said Miss Bell is not good. 
those of you who are spreading such like you should be careful no you should be careful especially about issues that you do not know anything about you should really be careful and i don't understand how some of you offend them interpret some things seriously i do not owe you guys an explanation that is the truth of the matter i don't but for the fact that i realized that people were genuinely hurt that is why i'm here explaining and yes sir and can say explanation we am bad that because i do not owe anybody in my life i do not owe anybody who i be friend with momo to one of me me can't say obi anan me be say obi as e kwa na e madam so so i don't even know who you you are some of you i don't even know you i don't even know what you do in your life but obi as e ba e ho na man for enya courage bet na ho ethnic things those of you who are doing that those of you who are doing worst things sleeping with your 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 friends boyfriends and and husbands and you are here judging me when you don't even know the whole story you should be careful you should be very 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 careful mm? you should be very very careful we are some person am come yeah 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 come some nasty comments and i i had to keep quiet and listen and i read every single comment from my own group because i needed to know those of you said eh we loved you before but so let's say that you love me if you truly love me no asema ba you should be trying to find out i wonder why why did you post a fierce was nigger picture a fierce was nigger picture on your page me and the people will not be happy with you that should have been the thing you the question should have been why and not all the unnecessary conclusions i just want to make peace with every So won't you say a wow problem. I am not forcing anybody to follow me. If you are here and you think that if trying to make peace with everybody and not having anybody have problems with anybody in this industry to have a clear mind to do what I need to do. If you feel that because of that you do not like me anymore. I am not forcing you to be there. Please just unfollow me. But don't come under my post and come and insult me. Don't come under my post and come and insult me because you, you have no idea. You have no idea. If I want to be famous there, I won't. I don't have to go to a flash one. You got to do that for me, because by the grace of God, I have the platform. I may not sit here and have one k people watching. Me na mo kase. We have almost six hundred people watching right now. Do you understand? So if it is, have you not seen how other people deal with other people in this country? Have you not seen? how other people deal with other people um, um, you know, um, now, when your problem have you not seen how they deal with them don't they come on life and insult them and come and say their secrets have you heard me sit, sit anywhere and insult anybody have you seen me sit anywhere and say somebody's secrets because i was not trained like that and yes i need to tell you so this is a very simple thing the only reason for coming here to do this is because i realize that genuine people were hurt it's as simple as that if you are here and you feel that you don't like me because i've tried to make peace with everybody then my dear just go and then follow me it's as simple as that thank you very much for making time and listening to me this morning I wish you all a happy Christmas. And I pray that God will preserve all of us. Sometimes few days to the end of the year a lot of bad things happen. So you should be careful. And those of you who like to chill, chill but please don't feast. Don't overdo it. You know. A lot of accidents and stuff. Someone when in the babu and you are one accident like as easy. So let's all be careful and stay safe. We all want to see each other in the year 2020. and we are praying for grace to go higher and do more god bless you all